I planned that. Fun Mike bit, huh? I'm a clown. That's great. Don't answer me, please. I, um, I was, isn't this a cool venue? I was here recently seeing my favorite band right here in the mosh pit, 34 moshing. <laughs> it's embarrassing. I really shouldn't. It is fun to just knock a 19-year-old in the throat. Just get the fuck out of here, you piece of shit. Huh? Get the hell out of here. Can't find me, loser. It's great. It's fun. I'm Canadian. You're welcome. Hey, that's fun. I like to scare all the boys in LA and tell them that this is what every woman from Canada sounds like. <laughs> like we've been foraging through the woods our whole lives. I've survived off of only rainwater and bark. It's very hard for me to swallow. Lined with wood chips, it is hard, it is. Or it sounds like I got stuck behind one of those cement trucks and I just, I don't know what that was. <laughs> that's, wow, <laughs> that's how I, they look tasty. Don't look at me like that. Okay, that's fine. Very warm woman being Canadian, very hot all the time, very large glands. It's the only way I cool off is if I head down to the ocean and I just, ooh, just dip my lips in the water. Just a light kiss of the sea, if you will. Light smooch of the ocean. Get a bit of salt in there, ladies. Feels good, huh? Cleans her out, it's refreshing, it's nice. Guys are alarmed. I feel like I look like an old dusty catcher's mitt walking around LA. Everybody else is very hot and fit, and I'm just crow's feet, head to toe. It's hard, it's very hard for me. So I uh, <clears throat> try acting younger, tried wearing a choker necklace. You ladies do this? Literally choked, I barfed in the back of a bar. Can't wear one, got a very strong neck for a woman. Got a very thick neck for a gal. I have my father's neck, that's the problem. And all the things a woman wants from her dad. Got his giant nine and a half man feet. Don't look, you pig, trust me. Got his really broad European back. Can carry a lot of water through a village on this thing if anybody's parched. I'm sturdy, built like an ox. I can walk for miles. And I got my dad's nipples. Found that out at the cottage this summer. My dad popped out of the water. I'm like, why do those look familiar? Oh shit, they're mine, that's why. Everybody hikes in the city. I don't know why everyone acts like we're getting dropped in the middle of the woods with a compass. It's, you're walking up a paved path, looking at the tops of things and walking down. Who fucking cares? Hiking up Griffith, bragging, get to the bottom. I'm on the main street, there's a loose dog running amok. I'm like, I'm gonna save this dog. I'm gonna be a hero. In the middle of the street, chasing a dog. It's like a refrigerator got loose, just chasing a dog in the middle of the day. It was a lot. Very close, cars are honking, everyone's quite worked up. Bit of a traffic jam, get right by the dog, lock eyes, I'm like, don't move, motherfucker. You're coming up with me. Cop goes by, rolls his window down, goes, hey, idiot. I'm like, me? He's like, yeah. Stop chasing that coyote. <laughs> I chased the coyote for 15 minutes. Had no fucking clue. You guys ever seen a coyote before? Very sick looking dog, if you're wondering what it looks like. Very ill animal, very bald. Several open sores on its back. Tough to hair right here, nowhere else. Spooked me. <laughs> I had it stuffed. I'm not gonna make that mistake again. Oh, I sleep with that coyote. Closest thing I've had to relationship in years. It's sad, it is, it really is. This guy's gonna barf, that's great. Um, is anybody else getting to the point of loneliness in the city where they just want night terrors or am I the only one? Just wanna feel like there's a man in the room with me. I'm like, oh, he's back again, thank God. Oh. Woo. Get out of the corner, you faceless ghoul. Come hover on top of me the way you like it. It's like we're snuggling, but it's scary and I can't breathe. It's nice, it is nice. I do have a vibrator, obviously, that uh, keeps me warm at night. And um, <clears throat> I don't know if ladies, I didn't realize that uh, the batteries were running low until I changed them. <sighs> Nearly blew my clip directly off my body. Jesus Christ! Ooh. If the ceiling fan was on, it would have latched on, done a couple loops and hit the wall like a wet noodle. It would have been very hard for a surgeon to put that thing back on. My roommate the next morning was like, did you hear a sound last night? I'm like, yeah, yeah. I think the leaf blower guy came over around 12. He was stuck on that one leaf for like 45 minutes. Couldn't get it off, could he? Wow. I feel like I've mucked about down here too long that my labia just looks like it's seen wars at this point. <laughs> it's just crawling out of a wet trench. It's like, does anybody got any water? 